next trick I'm going to teach you today is called the McBride Roller Coaster. Um, this was a trick that used to be on every um, strain trick list that we used to have at contests. It's not necessarily on those lists anymore when you go to a contest, um, but it's still a good trick to learn. It's got some good elements to it. It's a good one to practice to get yourself consecutive hitting the strain. Looks like this. The whole trick itself starts like so. You put in. That's the McBride roller coaster. Let me break it down for you. First step starts with a breakaway. But instead of going right into a trapeze, you're actually doing sideways around the world. Some people call it a world tour. Looks like that. It's kind of a cool move. You can just even do it by itself. It looks good. Um, and what you do from that is another mount. This is something new that I haven't showed you yet. It's called a... Um, this is a one and a half mount. Um, what you do with it, how to get into it, it's kind of like a double or nothing move. Instead of going all the way around a double or nothing, though, it's kind of like you stall it halfway through. It comes around and comes close to your throw hand pointer finger and catches on the string like so. So you can practice it by not quite getting to a double or nothing and then just swinging up and under that string. Um, you can even practice that by itself. Practice your world tour by itself. Then try and practice bringing this over into a one and a half mount. It's going to be an important move. We use it again later in some other tricks, so practice this. Um, so, first step, again, is the world tour. Try that again. World tour comes into one and a half mount. It's going to take practice getting into that, work it out. Um, from there, you dismount that, you dismount that again, and you come back around, and this is part that we learned in Rewind, where it comes around. Like so. Land on the strain. Then from there, you come all the way off again, and you come back around and land in double or nothing. So one more time for that part. From here, you come back around, land backwards, something you learned in Rewind. Instead of just going straight into double or nothing, though, you go all the way back around into a real double or nothing. From here, you dismount double or nothing, which you should already know. And then the last step is you take your throw hand pointer and push it into the string like so, and you swing this, the yo-yo to your left once and twice. It's going to either land on one or two strings. Drop your throw hand pointer, dismount, and that's McBride Roller Coaster.